Looking for someone to save me From my love, the things in my past I'd do anything just to make it stop Give me pain, give me pleasure I don't mind, it's whatever All I want is someone to love Ease my mind, give me headache I don't care, it's whatever All I want is someone to love So, how did I sew this? So let me give you a brief, this is not a tutorial I repeat, this is not a tutorial let me show you, give you a brief idea of how I came up with the measurements and all that. So, if you have uh, experience sewing, you will be able to make this for yourself. So, what I do is I measure from here to here in inches. I have 70 inches here. That's about two yards because one yard is 36 inches so I have 70 inches here you will first of all leave them to install this for you you have to install this before you start measuring uh, so I have 70 from here pole to pole from that hook to that hook I don't know if you can see me okay. so I have 70 inches which is about two yards to get the best gather, like I don't know, I go from double that to get the best gather. That means for one side, I already know that the curtain will drape that way and this one will drape that way, so I have two curtains. So one side is one yard without gather. But to get the gather from experience that I like, I will, and for this kind of simple gather curtains, I'll multiply that, that by two. So I get to have two yards on this side and two yards on this side. Then for the height, I measure from here, of course, from the pole, where the pole is, down to here. That, that gave me 56, so I wanted to need to be here. So when you're sewing it, you have to add allowance. So I folded it and sewed up here so that when it gathers, this one will be a kind of overlap. Yeah, so you have to put that in, into consideration when you're calculating the total length. You have to consider that it's folded here before sewing and then you have this one. So you have to add this one plus the fold to the total you got. And then you remember that you, you have to sew the bottom as well. So the same thing with this side, you know that you have to sew this side. This material, this check material, school uniform check, I call it. Uh, in one of my vlogs where we went to Balogo Market, you will see me looking for this. It, it's quite short. Some cotton materials come in by 120 inches. And this one comes in only 45 inches. So you also have to consider that uh, when you're calculating the total length. So usually what you measure like this, plus the gather and what you measure like this will be your total uh, material the total yards of material that you need or meters depending on what you use where you live and then uh, the the small thing i don't know what is that called the one at the top you measure it depending on how long you want it mine is 14 inches from there to there so again you need to consider that you have to fold it to make this depending on how how many inches you want coming out from here for instance this one is one one quarter inch coming out from here and the pole size of the pole you can get by measuring the pole so and then you give allowance knowing that this will gather if it's not on the pole it's not going to be it, it can't gather <laughs> so these things are just i mean if you sew it too tight if you use the exact measurement of the, the width of the pole <laughs> or thickness of the pole, will I say, and measure it and sew it and you're putting it and you see that it's, <laughs> it's too tight, too snug, you can't get it, then you have to correct it because, you know, you learn by making mistakes. <laughs> okay, so this one is two inches. I think the width, of the, the width of that pole is one inch. So I added an extra one inch 
because I, I want it to be loose inside so it can gather comfortably. And of course, if yours will have more gather, the more space you give on the pole. Yeah, the clearance you give from the So give me pain, give me pleasure, I don't mind. It's whatever, all I want is someone alive. And then of course, the other one that you use to gather it, you just, you just measure. You just measure from here to about here because you know that you're, not, you're going to gather it from about there. So you measure from here to here, whatever you get. You, you measure the, the small loop and then the remainder becomes this one. Someday I'll find the one So give me pain, give me pleasure I don't mind, it's whatever All I want is someone alive Ease my mind, give me headache I don't care, it's whatever All I want is someone
This is what it will look like. Yeah, this will be at the top, you know, window height. <laughs> and this will be like this behind. Like this. Let me get pin and simulate that for you. <laughs> Exactly like this, but you see it when I hang it. Then remain this one, the gala. Already have something here. kitchen cotton <laughs> you know I'm old school <laughs> Because I already have an idea of what I want to do up here and sometimes it will be lost in translation when you're trying to explain it to another person to make it for you. I may not have time for this kind of things because I'm a very busy woman but I'll rather wait. For instance, this <laughs> has been in waiting since when? That's two years now. Yeah, January 2018. Now it's December so by January next year it will be two years in waiting to make this. Score me, give me a score. <laughs> you see that black thing there? Yeah, the other one is missing. I don't know where it is. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave installation of your cotton for two years. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I'll keep looking. How do you like it? How do you? How do you? How do you? <laughs> My classic old school kitchen cotton. Bye bye. 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 B